my name is my name is Maciej Pouczyński. Uh, I come from the Polish Japanese Academy of Information Technology, which I'm a graduate and a student. I'm also a participant of a future text program uh, that we're having for two years, uh, examining future text and, and future technologies. Uh, I work as a type designer and graphic designer. Well, I think it's not only about variable fonts, but also what um, we, sh we saw today at the lecture um, of the Fox Foundry, that uh, it's more about parametric approach to, 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 to shapes maybe, and then with a bit of programming we can end up uh, being able to communic communicate anything. Of course, um, sometimes it can lack um, an eye or an hand of, of, of the type designer, but I think this is something extra for, for, for the communication. Yeah? So, so the visual aspect of the communication is one side, but uh, the way that we communicate or the ease we communicate is separate from, from the visuals. So, um, well, um, variable fonts, I think it's an amazing technology and it works amazingly on the web. Uh, we still lack of implementation for let's say printed media or, or printed media software, um, which could allow users to, to, to work with this technology uh, more fluently. And I think, yeah, so, so, so this technology is now super well supported by the web um, and probably this will be the biggest, um, let's say, you, you, you use of it. Field of exploration. Yes, field of exploration. exploration yes, um, it's also a um, issue of how we, how how the user could potentially work with these. Um, usually now we have the sliders, which uh, can be a bit messy if we go for more than two masters. And of course, probably at some point you want to have. Um, as many variants as possible for, for the user to choose from. So there is, um, there is uh, let's say, a user interface or user experience issue to be solved. All right.